hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another video today we are doing a monthly closeout which is basically a weekly check-in but then we also see how we did for the whole entire month and not just that past week so i will be finishing up the month with september 26th through the 30th and then we will calculate our final numbers and i already have all of my totals for sinking funds purchases, business purchases, mileage, and all that fun stuff. So you guys will see all those numbers. And then I also um, did my savings. So you'll see in total what I saved for the month in savings challenges. So if you're interested, just keep watching. But we're going to jump right in with my cash envelope purchases, which... Um, I had two gas transactions again this week. So starting off with those, I do have my key over here off to the side so you know what each color um, sticker represents. But I did get gas on Monday and I put $50, which we were doing really good on gas prices at least where I live and then this week they literally spiked and went up like two dollars which I don't understand so that's really fun um but that is okay um we're just gonna have to keep that in mind when budgeting for gas but I got gas the 26th and then I got gas again on the 28th eighth which I did do a lot of driving last week so and um on the 28th I got it at the end of the day so that's that but the only other purchases I had were from my food category so let me grab that sticker sheet um, first I got myself McDonald's on, what day was that? Um, Wednesday. So McDonald's, I only spent $4 because I used, um, like a coupon code from the app. So that was Wednesday. That's Violet snoring in the background. And the washing machine's going, so if you hear that. Um, and then I got George and I in and out on the 29th. And that was, oops, I'll just write a new one. $22.25. And I actually got Lexi some fries as well. So I think $22 for three people is pretty good. So that was Thursday. And that was it for um, my cash envelope expenses. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my paydays, which I got paid the 27th from Etsy. And then I got paid the 30th from property management and babysitting. But I will just put one payday down there and then I did have two no spend days but I didn't print myself any more stickers so we will just have to wait on that but I'll go ahead and put those in off camera but let's go ahead and see how we did so Starting off with gas, I spent $100 this week. Fun, I did not spend anything. Food, I spent $22.25 plus $4.26.25. Groceries, I did not spend anything and treats I did not spend anything so over here in my remaining 
section. Um, for gas, we were over by $110 for the month, which again, I've talked about. It is okay because this was my first month working the property management job, which does require me to drive, but I do get paid for mileage and gas. So I'll just have to do my gas budget a little different for October. Um, but for food, I had 108 minus 26.25. So we had 81.75 remaining. And then groceries, we had 227 remaining. And then nothing in treats. So I think that's pretty good. I just want to say that I think that's actually really good this month. Um, down here in the results section, I'm not going to put fun because I didn't budget anything for fun. And I just don't have enough lines. So I'm just going to write the other four. So we can write how much I spent. So for gas, I budgeted $200 and I was over by 110. So that means I spent 310 on gas. And then for food, I budgeted 150 and I had 81.75 remaining. So that means I spent 68.25. Groceries, I had $500. And I had $227.37. So I spent $272.63. $272.63. And then treats, I had $25. And that is exactly what I spent. So that is that. And now we can take those numbers over to my monthly budget page. But before that, I want to quickly just walk you guys through all of my pages. I'm sorry if I keep bumping the tripod. Okay, so here's my income spread. Again, Etsy, property management, and babysitting are what I got paid for last week. And then we will fill this section out in a second. And then for savings, um, I'll go ahead and walk through these numbers, but I'll show you how I got them on the next page. For my $1 savings challenge, I saved $17. My 52-week challenge, I saved $80. And my monthly challenge, I saved $100. So in total, I saved $222 just in savings challenges. Um, obviously all of my sinking funds are also savings, but those are tracked separately, but that is really exciting. Um, okay. So this page here is a lot of numbers and I'll walk through it, but over here for last week, I did go to, um, home goods and TJ Maxx and I took those purchases from holidays and moving out. And then in total, for the month, I spent $191 out of my sinking funds. And then how I have this here is the starting balance of each category, the ending balance, and then here is what I stuffed into each category. And then these come straight from this transaction log. So for business, I only had one transaction and it was $16. So I write that here. And then depending on how much I added and took out, and then I check with my ending balance. So I hope that makes sense. But um, I'm not going to walk through all of my categories. We're just going to go down to taxes. I added $155 this month. My coins, I emptied my little pumpkin, which is here. I emptied that and put it into my coin counting jar, 
which at the start of the month had $97.35, and now it has $103.69. So I saved $6.34. Then for my $1 savings challenge, I saved 17, 52 weeks, 80, and monthly 100. So that's that. And then again, this is just my sinking funds transaction log. I did have to buy ink this week, so that was $61.40. And then for the total this month, I spent $127 with 58 cents on Etsy supplies. Then shipping, I did not ship anything last week because I got pretty ahead. So for the month, I spent $70.06. And then mileage, I drove 54 miles on the 27th and 106 miles on the 28th for property management, not in total, obviously. Um, and for this month, I drove 641 miles, 0.3. Um, so that's that. Now we can go ahead and fill out this monthly budget page so let me zoom you on in again i think that's good maybe um so let's fill this in so for gas the actual amount i spent was 310 and then fun i did not spend anything food we spent 68 I'm just transferring these numbers over from my weekly check-in page 25 then groceries 272 63 then treats 25 and then sinking funds this is what i plan to stuff but in the actual i'm going to put what i spent even though those numbers don't really correlate it's just for my own brain so we'll put that there and then we did not have anything unbudgeted so let's add up these amounts we have 310 plus 68.25 plus 272.63 plus 25 plus 191 that is 866 dollars and 88 cents eight six six eight Alrighty, so I'm gonna subtract that number one, four, three, five, and that is a positive five sixty eight twelve, which is amazing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer over these numbers from my weekly check in page as well. So we had negative 110 then this is nothing then 8175 um 227 with 37 cents please ignore my writing it's hard to write on the coil um and then treats was no different this one we don't worry about because again they don't correlate um but that is that um again i'm really happy with these numbers especially with being moved out and you know buying groceries and household items and all that kind of stuff um the last time i actually filled out a monthly um like close out i honestly couldn't even tell you i think maybe june maybe 
Yes, in June. So my life is obviously much different from June till now. And I am very proud of myself for how I've adjusted and kept on track with my budget. So if this is the little sign you needed or the little encouragement you needed, I just want to let you know that it is possible. I'm not perfect and nobody's budget is but if you are trying you're doing better than a lot of people who aren't you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful in some way and i will see you all very soon in my next one bye guys